Digital Composer Video Academy. Today we are going to look on how to create introductional section for your site with a parallax effect. Here in an example you can see full height parallax section with some title, a bit of graphic, image background and of course parallax effect, which works on scrolling. So I'm going now switch to blank page. Here is a blank page of Visual Composer and we are starting to build this nice section step by step. So first I'm going to add row element. We have a row element and in order to make it full width we are going to introduce row stretching option and stretch row and content. Now our row has full width and we want to divide it into columns. There are some predefined columns but for such layout I will need to use custom column. So I will now just type in custom settings for my column. From one, one side there will be three one twelves, one a half in the middle and the same values 3 1 12 at the right side. Okay, now we have row divided into columns and we can start by applying our background. We can add background here through design options but if I want to use parallax here is in the general section here you can see parallax. Just choose simple or with fade. I will choose simple now and upload my image. So I'm going to choose this one as a background. Okay, uh, one thing to mention is that you can actually add parallax but specify image over there. So you can even combine this one image and that one from design options if you use transparency or something to create even more advanced effects. So I have now created this parallax effect. What I wanted to do next is set this row to be full height. Okay, as you can see there is a bit of white space which is actually added by the seam. So we are going to just remove it with some negative margin. But uh, in your case, in your seam, you should look into design options of your scene. Okay, so I, I have just removed it. So, yes, I think a bit more. Something around minus 55. Okay, great. Now we have row, which already, as you can see, has parallax effect. In order to show it, more. I'm just going to add a blank row and set some padding just to have longer canvas. So once I scroll there is a parallax effect. So adding parallax effect is just that easy. Now we are going to add those images, set their position and of course this text part. So I'm going to start with by adding image elements. I'm going to choose a single image, set size to full already, and just choose first image. Okay. I can specify some alignment of image or something. Now, as I have a few images, I'm just going to drop them here and maybe somewhere over there yes okay so now I'm going to change those two images replace them with another type of images and yes here you go we now have images and we can start working on text I'll start by adding this one. 
that's a custom heading element. Just copy paste our text, choose tag as it's probably main title of my page. So I'm going to use h1, set alignment to center, specify font size, choose color and let's choose one of the Google fonts. I'm going to choose this one. Yes. Okay, another thing, I'll add line paint to one, to decrease the space between the lines a bit. Okay, now I'm going to duplicate this element and we're going to add this author's name. Again, just paste your text there. So let's change type to h2 because I probably want this one to be indexed as well so potential clients can find me easily by my name change font size color will still be white and I'm going to choose another font this one great next one we have a button. We're just going to add button element. We have a title, view works. Let's put it here. Choose style outline. We want button to be square and color to be white. Okay. Next, what we want to do is set alignment to be center. Here we go. And decrease size a little bit. Yet, there are a few things left. First, the title of the button is bold. So, I'm going to just add tags here so as as you see you can actually use tags in text and we got our text ball okay now we want to decrease space here and add some space over there just get into design options of our custom heading Specify top margin to zero and let's add bottom padding to 20. Here you go. And what we want to do next is set the position for our images. As you can see, those images have different positions. Let's start with the first one. Let's go to design options and for the first image I'm going to add padding button 400. Okay, everything jumped, but don't worry, we'll get to that. Next image and let's add padding top 250. Okay, and last one, last one, let's add 200 at the bottom okay so images are first have their new possessions but the text is at the top now we are going to use one of the latest features added to visual composer which is uh, content position it's default now let's set it to the middle and here you go again I'm just going to save my work and if we compare those two examples, they look the same. And yes, once we start to scroll, there's this great parallax effect introduced. Basically, that's it. It was really easy to create such section for your site using Visual Composer Page Builder. 
The last thing to mention is that once you get to responsiveness, you probably don't want those images with all the paddings appear at your on your mobile devices. So what we want to do is just choose the columns of the images here over there and probably disable them. So for this one, we just have to go into column settings, responsiveness options, and hide them on devices of your choice. Just update and do it for all the other columns except the text one. So and by, by doing this, you will hide those images and your site will also look great on mobile. Thank you and good luck with your own 